Sasquatch Mountain is another Bigfoot movie starring Lance Hendrickson. And honestly, I'm excited to see them all. But with such a veteran actor, how does Sasquatch Mountain hold up to all the other Bigfoot movies? It all starts out with a little found footage tape. Chase, played by Hendrickson, is helping his wife get his car fixed. She has a video camera and films something in the woods. But then she's hit by a car and killed. Fast forward several years and we have a group of thieves. Most of these guys don't really matter. Just know that they're the bad guys in this movie. The only one who does really matter is Vin. And honestly, he's mostly just comic relief. This group of thieves rob a bank and despite almost getting caught, they manage to get away. While all this is happening, we meet Erin. She's running away from her boyfriend, and unfortunately for her, through a car crash, she gets caught up in all this mess. There's a shootout that ends with the criminals escaping into the woods, with Erin as their hostage. One guy gets shot in the crossfire, and they have to leave him behind. Easy prey for Bigfoot, who comes up and attacks him. At least most of this movie takes place in the daylight, and you can actually see Bigfoot. The effects look good, even if he does look like a walking hairball. So now the cops are chasing the criminals, and Bigfoot's chasing whoever's in the woods. Using a CB radio, Chase can hear what's going on, and he decides to help out. Over the years, he's been labeled as a bit of an outcast, telling everyone about the tape his wife took and how she got a Bigfoot on it but he's here to help track down the criminals and more importantly, save them from what he knows is in the woods. Eventually, the cops do catch up with the bank robbers and it looks like they might have control of the situation, but then Bigfoot attacks, forcing them all to work together to get out alive. They eventually find a cabin and stay there for the night. Sure. Meanwhile, Chase finds Vin up in a tree he manages to get him down, and they get back to the cabin. After looking around a little bit, they find the cabin's owner, dead, on the toilet. What a way to go. The next morning, they discover why Bigfoot's so mad. You see, the guy who died was feeding him. Now Bigfoot's hungry, hungry for human flesh. The group splits up. Kayla thinks it's safer to just stay in the cabin, while the rest want to get out of there. It seems like all this hiking is taking its toll on the sheriff, and he has a heart attack. The leader of the thieves, Travis, gives him CPR and saves his life. Uh, kinda counterproductive for him, but okay. He's not such a bad guy, but he's still gonna go to prison. Travis goes back for Kayla. I don't really know why. If she wanted to stay, just let her stay, but I guess Travis sees her as family? Anyway, guess who else is in the cabin with her? That's right, Bigfoot. He seems to be mourning the loss of his friend, but Kayla doesn't care, and she runs at him guns blazing. She's killed pretty quickly, and so is Travis. Now there's only a few people left, and they make it back to the cars. But then one of the thieves double-crossed them all and attacks Vin. But then Bigfoot attacks and kills him. Talk about karma. Now they have to deal with Bigfoot, but he's hurt pretty badly. The men put down their guns, and Bigfoot falls to the ground and dies. In the final scene, Aaron gives Vin's girlfriend some of the stolen money, and the sheriff takes him in. But that's not all that interesting. What is interesting is they play a real 911 call where a guy called the cops because something huge was on his property. If you haven't heard it before, it's definitely worth a listen. Get somebody out here. What's going on now, sir? That son of a bitch is about six foot nine, I don't know. Do you see him now, sir? Yes, I'm looking right at him. Uh-oh. He's right... Is he in your yard, sir? Yeah, God, he's big. Okay, what's he doing in your yard? He's looking at me. Oh, and the guy is on foot. Just... I don't know what, it, it, it's, it's a big, real big person, that's all I can say, he's big, he is big.
Sasquatch Mountain is more focused on the human characters and not so much Bigfoot. Sure, they sprinkle in some Bigfoot attacks here and there, but it seemed like a lot of this movie was just straight filler. And what about that ending? If you're out in the woods and a Bigfoot just dies in front of you, take the body. You'd be a millionaire and actually prove the existence of a legendary creature. Of course, Lance Hendrickson is great. I liked Aaron and Vin, as goofy as he was, was okay. But the rest of the characters sucked and I didn't really care about any of them. Bigfoot looked good enough, but the camera was always so shaky when he was around. You never got a real good look at him. If you like the cops and robbers storyline, you'll probably like Sasquatch Mountain. If you're in it for Bigfoot, prepare to be disappointed. I give it one and a half walking fur balls out of four. I think it bit me. I'm gonna turn into one.